How you doing guys? Zane's Every Boxing Lewis did you back with another video and in this video I'd like to give you the breaking news in the boxing world. So Derek Del Boy Chisora. Now he's he's training with David Hay as his mentor, you know, but they need a boxing coach, you know. Needs a boxing coach with a lot of experience. Now what's happened? Del Boy has called up well not Del Boy necessarily say David Hay, you know, uh, Del Boy, Derek Chisora's manager, he's called up a trainer. This is a controvers controversial trainer, and his name is Dave Coldwell, a well-known, respected boxing trainer. In my opinion, he's a great trainer, you know. Um, done a lot of important things for a lot of boxers, you know. One, notably, Tony Bellew mm -hmm. coming back and beating David Hay twice. Not even once, twice. So he's done well in that respect, you know. Um, David A was a was a heavyweight at the time, and uh, Tony Bellew was a cruiserweight. And I, I tell you what, a lot of people did write off uh, Tony Bellew to beat David A, and Dave Coldwell was the man behind it, behind training Tony Bellew, you know, and getting him physically and mentally ready and prepared for that fight. So he done a great job, in my opinion, because. Um, Odds everyone was uh, picking against uh, Tony Bellew, and he made the impossible possible. In my in my honest humble opinion, you know what I mean. So um, yeah, this is the breaking news. Um, David A has contacted Dave Caldwell, and um, has asked him formally asked him to uh, train Derek Delboy Chisora, going on in his career at the moment. You know, and that's a good move in my opinion. You know, Dave Coldwell, great trainer in my in my opinion. Very good, very good basically, but basic fundamentals. Works on everything around them sort of issues. Um, I think it could bring a lot of a lot of good things into the game of Derek Chisora. You know, more more fundamentals into his game. You know, more using his jab. You know, and it's a good 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 really. Really good sign in my opinion, you know. I I'm not I'm not really how can I say it? I don't I'm not really hating that, you know. I, I really like the fact that he's trained with he's teamed up with Dave Dave Coldwell now. So I'm just gonna go in a little bit of detail of obviously how it happened because you know, when uh when Tony Bellew when Dave Coldwell was training Tony Bellew for the David Hay fight, you know they had a little bit of a argument, you know, with uh, Dave Caldwell and David Hay. And uh, one thing I know that David Hay did call uh, Dave Caldwell a little rat, you know. So <laughs> that's a bit peak, you know. In my opinion, if someone called me a little rat, I wouldn't take it a bit. I wouldn't take it kindly, you know. <laughs> but anyways. That's long gone, you know, um, there was a rivalry back then and you can see like emotions always get the better of people sometimes. And I think in that occasion, yeah, the emotion probably got a bit too much for David A because obviously he's fighting someone that someone that that someone is training, you get me? Um, so basically when David A was fighting Tony Bellio, like I mentioned in the rematch as well, Dave Coldwell was training for the both both two fights that they had so you can see why there was a little bit of um anger towards uh dave coldwell from david hay but you know nevertheless it looks like they've they've seemed to patch everything up and they've left all that um sort of how can i say it? all that sort of uh bad blood between them in the past they've left it all in the past now and he asked Dave Caldwell to for, uh, to come and train Derek Chisora. And it's a great move, in my opinion, from Derek Chisora. I don't think he should retire as well. You know, honestly, uh, he's got a lot more years left in boxing, you know. From that performance we saw from Dylan White, you know, he could still give a lot of heavyweights problems, you know. I think he'll give a lot of heavyweights problems. People like Joseph Parker. You know, I think Del Boy can beat Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker in my opinion, has um, lost a lot of momentum in his career, you know, after Dylan White beat him, you know, beat him soundly as well, it wasn't really that competitive, was it, that's my opinion, but, you know, um, yeah, 
Derek Chisora versus Joseph Parker. I'd love to see that fight. Now that Del Boy is training them, you know, I'd love to see that fight. Another fight which Derek Chisora may be able to take, in my opinion. Possibly a Luis Ortiz fight, you know. If he takes Luis Ortiz and he beats him, he could be in back in the world heavyweight title contention run, you know. Um, Derek Chisora shouldn't retire, though. And it's a good sign, in my opinion, that he's he's finding people that are really experienced and knowledgeable in the boxing game to uh, get behind him and train him, you know. So it's good luck, in my opinion. Well done to Derek Chisora. I'm happy that Dave Caldwell and um, David A have sorted their differences out. But um, more on Dave, uh, Dave Caldwell. Dave Caldwell was quite shocked, you know. Um, what it was was he was chilling with his wife, you know. Um, yesterday or the day before and he got the call from David Hay you know um, saying saying that um, obviously he wants him to train uh, Derek Chisora you know um, and they, they had a brief conversation and they put everything that were that was you know the bad blood between them in the past you know and it shows maturity in my opinion you know because you know Boxing is a sport where people need to help each other instead of going against each other. Unless they're fighting each other, I can understand. But, you know, boxing is is a sort of a sport. At the moment, like, I feel that um, a lot of people hate you and a lot of people like you. And that's the way it's always going to be. But more people should get get behind the people that are trying to better themselves and become a better boxer so in my opinion like i'm really happy that Derek chisora has made this move dave caldo is a great manager not not a great manager a great trainer i meant sorry so um you know it's a good move in the right direction for Derek chisora um i'd like to see him come back soon you know i'll be i'm really excited to see his next fight ne next fight to see his improvements you know now he's under the tutelage of dave caldwell you know um so dave caldwell's training uh, anthony fowler who's undefeated at the moment and he's doing he's doing the training count with, uh, against scott fitzgerald so he's training anthony fowler for that fight so you know i'm looking forward to that fight but just thought I'd share the news, you know, the breaking news. Uh, Del Boy Derek Chisora is now training with Dave Caldwell under the tutelage of David Hay. And, uh, yeah, they've all paired up to make um, Derek Chisora's career, you know, better again, you know. Uh, that's my opinion. I'm really happy. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think about it? Is it a good move, in my opinion? I think so. In my opinion, I think so. But what do you think? You know, most importantly, let me know your thoughts, guys. As always, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you share my video, bringing you nothing but the best boxing breakdown and predictions. You know, and, and I'll be talking about a lot of dis topic, topic discussions, boxing news, you know, or latest, you know. So I'll give you the thoughts or my thoughts on them. And we can have a good discussion about this boxing talk. You know, everyone that's passionate about boxing, get behind me. I do this for the love of the sport. Yeah, so, you know, make sure you get involved. Zane's every boxing doshas. Now, till the next video.